In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best studio monitors in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these baby strollers, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Okay, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the Mackie CR3. The Mackie CR3 is a pair of two compact studio monitors that are widely used due to the fact that they combine an excellent audio quality for a price that is affordable for most of the users on the market. From a design perspective, the Mackie CR3 features a wooden construction that is finished with a green and black color combination, which looks very stylish, so regardless where you will put them, they will look good in any decor. At the front, you will instantly notice the tweeter which is positioned at the top, which has a small waveguide built into the plastic baffle cover, and around the tweeter, you will see a green circle, which adds a good sense of aesthetics. Slightly below, there is the 3-inch polypropylene-coated woofer, that has a green ring, as the twitter, while on the back, there are the connectivities. The connectivities are custom-tuned, and set on the active speaker, however, there are no EQ options, but if we take in mind that it's price, then it is normal. Now, let's talk about the features. The Mackie County Route 3 can output 50 watts of power, while the audio frequency ranges from 80 Hz to up to 20 kHz, which is pretty cool in my opinion. I'd also want to mention that the speakers come with a great number of accessories, so you can find a 1 8 inch stereo RCA cable, of which you can take an advantage and connect the computer output to the speakers, a speaker to speaker cable, as well as a 1 8 inch cable, with which you can connect your smartphone or the media player to the front panel of the speakers. Another great thing about these speakers is that, when you take them off the box, you will see isolation pads, which I find really useful, due to the fact that, they will drastically minimize the buildup of a boomy bass, and enhance your listening focus, so you can capture every single detail of any track, that you'd like to listen. Overall, the Mackie CR3 is a bang for the buck, and that's why I highly recommend you consider these pair of speakers as your next purchase. Moving on, at number 4, we have the M-Audio AV42. The M-Audio AV42, would be an ideal option if you want to enrich your small home studio, because this pair of 20-watt speakers have shown that they mean business. From a design perspective, the AV42 have a compact construction, that is mostly made of an MDF, which cuts of the weight drastically, so you can store them whenever you like, without any fuss. In addition, both of them have a black matte finish, so they look indeed stylish. One one of the speakers packs the amp and all of the connections, so you can find RCA inputs for left and right audio, a speaker jack that will stream audio to the right, and two 3.5mm jacks on the front, of which one is for headphone output, and the other is for auxiliary audio. This is great, because these speakers will be compatible with most of your gears, such as smartphones, tablets, computers, as well as with your mixers, so you will have versatile options in terms of connectivity. But now, let's talk about the performance. The M-Audio AV42, can output a frequency response that ranges between 75 Hz, to up to 20,000 Hz, while the 4-inch woofer will produce a great amount of bass, so you can feel every audio track in depth. Or to be more precise, these speakers have a polypropylene cone driver, which is powered by a 20 watt per channel Class A, B internal amplifier, so for the price, you will be well equipped. When it comes to the trebles, users claim that they are balanced, and well defined, while the strongest side of these speakers, are the mids, so I think that you simply cannot ask for more. To conclude, the M-Audio AV42 are maybe the best speakers, in their category, because they produce a quality audio on one side, while on the other, they will never restrict you in terms of the connectivity, so all of your equipment can be connected without any problem. Next stop, at number 3, we have the Edifier R1700BT. The Edifier R1700BT are one of the best and most sold studio monitors on the market, and more and more customers are purchasing them. That's why, let's get quickly into action and find out why are they worth of having. 
From a design perspective, the R1700BT features a wooden enclosure that is followed by a 19mm dome tweeter, 4-inch bass driver in each speaker and interestingly, they are built with a 10-degree upward slant, which according to the manufacturer, it means that the audio will be directly sent to the listener. Moreover, when you open the box, you will find a 4-inch RCA to RCA cable, a 16-foot speaker able as well as a remote control, from which you can take an advantage, in order to adjust the volume as you would like. At the back, there are two sets of RCA inputs, a 5-pin connector for the passive speaker, two sets of RCA inputs and a full-range power input that works from 100 to 240 volts. You will L have three different methods to connect to the speaker, one of them is via Bluetooth, while the other two are by using the RCA cables, and while doing that, be sure that you won't find any trouble. Now, let's talk about the features. The audio quality is really good, or to be more precise, the mids are rich, warm and incredibly defined, so the vocals you hear, will sound satisfying. The treble is also good, while the bass punchy, so I think that you won't find any problems, since the audio can easily fill an entire room. But what makes the R1700BT special, is the fact that it has a built-in digital signal processing, and dynamic range control, which means that, you will barely notice distortion, since these two things combined, are effective enough to prevent those issues. Overall, the Edifier R1700BT are worthy of considering, and if you ever decide to purchase it, you would never be disappointed. Moving on, at number 2, we have the IK Multimedia iLoud Micro. The iLoud Micro, are ultra-compact, 3-inch studio monitors that were specifically designed, to meet your expectations, and get the most of every audio in a typical, project studio. From a design perspective, the Micro have an elegant glossy black construction, which is accompanied by a 3-inch neodymium driver, a 3 4 inch silk dome tweeter, an activity LED on the front, a bass reflex port and an adjustable isolation base also at the front, while at the back, there are the connectivities, so let's name some of them. You can find a volume control, a toggle switch for EQ's positioning, a TRS 1 8 inch stereo input, an RCA input, a power supply input, a link for the right speaker, a toggle power switch, which is quite good. In addition, these speakers are Bluetooth enabled, which I really like due to the fact that, you can monitor one wireless digital source, and two analog inputs at the same time. You can recognize the Bluetooth button which will start flashing in blue at first, and then when you've been paired with it successfully, it will stay solid blue, so you will always be informed about everything. But now, let's talk about the performance. The iLoud Micro are known for the mid-range performance that comes from the woofer, due to the fact that, they use a digital crossover, which is set at 3.5 kHz, and at the same time, they are time-aligned by a DSP, so you can expect to hear accurate mids. Since I've mentioned the woofer, I'd like to inform you that the woofer prioritizes the frequency response over the maximum SPL level, so they can reproduce frequencies as low as 55 Hz, with the intention to let you feel every detail of any audio. Moreover, the frequency response ranges between 50 Hz to 20 kHz which is impressive, because if we take the monitor's backquote size in comparison, we can without a doubt say, that the audio that comes from the speakers will have a well-defined stereo imaging, which is always welcome. To conclude, the iLoud Micro are worth of considering, because they can deliver a powerful audio that will be rich with details, for your ultimate experience. And finally, at number 1, we have the Yamaha HS8. The Yamaha HS8, is a pair of studio speakers, that have been in the market for a couple of years, but they have somehow managed to maintain their top-notch status, so let's get into action, and find out why are people constantly purchasing them. From a design perspective, the Yamaha HS8 features an attractive, sleek white MDF design, that packs an 8-inch cone woofer, 1-inch dome tweeter that is protected by a metal grille, and controls that consist of a room control, mid-EQ, and high trim, where each of them has own, unique role to your overall experience. For example, the room control switch, does a pretty good job in compensating the unnatural low-end exaggeration, that usually comes, if you've placed the speakers to walls or in corners. 
On the other side, the high trim switch will let you tailor the monitor's response capability when it comes to the high frequencies, while the mid-EQ, as the name states, it will boost the mid-range delivery, and output a perfectly defined flat response. In terms of the input types, you can find one XLR, and a 1 quarter inch TRS phone jack inputs, that can accept balanced or unbalanced signals, while for outputs, there is an XLR for L and R. Now, let's talk about the features. The Yamaha HS8 have a bi-amp design which is followed by a separate dedicated amp for both the woofer and the tweeter, which basically means that the amplifier unit will ensure that each speaker will deliver a high-resolution sound, as well as a flat response, across your entire room. I'd also want to inform you that these speakers have a noise reduction technology, which means that the Yamaha's engineers have succeeded to control and to reduce the vortex. The result is, an effective reduction of an audible noise of up to 6 decibels, which proves that Yamaha knows how to craft amazing products. Moving on, these speakers have really good specs as well. Or to be more precise, they have a crossover of 2 kHz, an output power of 120 watts, while the tweeter can produce a distortion-free sound up to 30 kHz, which is really good. Overall, the Yamaha HS8 is a dream for every audiophile, so if you're one of them, then do not hesitate to check them out. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these studio monitors, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.